bitter, <laughs> like butter, but better, bitter, like butter, but better, bitter, like butter, but better. <laughs> so my brother tells me he's in love. My first thought is, you poor Twitter pated dumb fuck. <laughs> my second thought is bitter, like butter, but better, this mantra manifested on a Midwestern highway. We were kids, so we were high fructose high, road trip tripping on pixie sticks and smarties and bitter, like butter, but better, was the most clever and simultaneously hysterical thing either one of us had ever said. We were kids, but I think it still holds up. Bitter, like beer, an acquired taste, the first sip I can't stand, but now I'm a drunk bitter because selfish father, because hubris ridden mother let the dream of three bedrooms, two children and a dog kill her, trying to maintain it bitter. Because children were never meant to be parents, to parents who were never meant to be spouses, it's the brand of bitter that tastes like depression. Depression is a caretaker who every morning straps her charges onto bed-shaped gurneys and tells them they're safe. It's a bitter that tastes like depression and even this bitter knows that this sadness is a privilege, that there are far more righteous things in this world to be angry about than growing up in three bedrooms with two parents and a dog, but still bitter, still angry, still drunk, just like butter. Like I call him butter to keep from wearing out the magic in the name brother, which is the sweetest thing I can think to call anyone. Like the metaphor fits, like butter keeps life from burning to the pan, like it goes through a hell of a lot of ups and downs and churning before deciding on hardening, like we have accepted hardened hearts. They're strong, solid, forever, the stuff to build futures on, fortified and secured and safe, better. But you're better now, but you melted, crumbled, fell in love, but one word and I don't recognize you anymore, husband. You want to be a husband to a wife with a daughter. Don't you know that makes you father, makes me sister-in-law and aunt? Don't you know, brother, I have a gargoyle heart? Don't you know I only have two palms, only enough to hold on to brother and sister? We talked about this. When we both decided to abandon flesh for stone, we talked about its permanence and I could try to open this rock. But don't you know, when earth moves, it quakes and I am not ready to abandon to a pile of rubble, the golden calf I've carved for myself and the image of loneliness and anger for what? Your false gods of love and family? Butter, I'm not better. This life you say you want, I thought it was the life we had both outgrown, but sweet. Butter, I promise, never will I let my bitter get in the way of your better. Stephanie Moray. Two more points, and we're going to take a break and do, go a little, do a little.